the Phil Sweeney Chases next in. This is a Grade 3. And take a look at them. It's uh, level weights Grade 3, I think. And the top one is Floats Like a Summerfly for Joshua Sutherland. Answer Lane for him. Shanghai Lily for Graham Clutterbuck. Capable Cardington, Martin Leadham. Dark Shadow, Ryan Costello. Franklin Roosevelt, Paul Rhodes. Push up dash for Vinnie Gerard Falkland's task force. Paul Rhodes first 11, Darren Thompson and Gwyn Tomira for hims. So 10 then. And this Phil Sweeney chase called in, and away we go. Still raining and capable. Cardington in the purple jacket is the first to show. They've got 12 fences to negotiate this time. Floats like a summer fly. Let's come through to take it up at the first. And they get over the first. And floats like a summer fly landed in the lead. Gwen Tamira being pushed upon the outside. Cable Carlington taking a tug on the rail. Then Ansel Lane is wide. And first 11 in the white sleeves is moving up on the inside as well. And the back five are all in the line as they take that ditch. With floats like a summer fly. The clear leader. A good two and a half lengths to Ansel Lane in second. And Cable Carlington as they take that plane fence. Falkland Task Force is just the back marker at this stage of the race. And floats like a summer fly is the leader by about three. To Answer Lane second, Capable Cardington third. Down to the fourth. And they all jump that one really well. With first 11 just landed a little bit awkwardly though. And floats like a summer fly is clear by three. To Answer Lane second, Capable Cardington third. Then Tush up Tash getting a bit closer in fourth. Shanghai Lily chasing that one. Then comes Franklin Roosevelt on first 11s after that. Dark Shadow at the back with Gwen Tamira and Falkland's Task Force. So into the final mile and a half then. And Floats Like a Summer Fly is clear in the lead. Comes down to the fifth. That's over it. Nice little mistake there by Shanghai Lily. See that one drop towards the back. Past the small stand and the winning post. And swing out for one more circuit of the track. Floats like a summer fly. Leads by a couple of lengths to Ansel Lane second. Capable Carlington third. Tushuk Dash four. Franklin Roosevelt five. Then Shanghai Lady six and first eleven seven. Then Falkland's Task Force. Gwen Tamira and finally Dark Shadow is the back marker as they take the sixth. And that's half the jumping done now. With floats like a summer fly. Comfortable in the lead. Ansel Lane chasing in second. Cable Carlington jockey sitting quietly on that one in third. Then Tushuk Tash and Franklin Roosevelt. There's five. Have pulled a little bit clear of the remainder and just about headed by Shanghai Lily. They've been making the odd mistake as they get down to the seventh. Oh, Cable Carlington right down on his nose there. Uh, surrendered third place to Tushuk Tash. It floats like a summer flight. He's going like a good one at the moment in the lead from Ansel Lane in second and Tushuk Tash and Capable Cardington. Then Franklin Roosevelt, Shanghai Lily, Gwen Tamir after that one. Then first 11, Faulkner's Task Force and Dark Shadow finding it a bit tough as they take the eighth. And Capable Cardington jumped that one really well and has moved away to second. And it floats like a summer fly in the lead. Capable Cardington just a length behind in second. Then comes Ansel Lane in third. Big gap then now to Tushuk Tash in fourth as they take this ninth. That's a ditch. Good jump by the lead in four there. They're all over it safely. They've only got three more to take. And floats like a summer fly being pushed along there. Capable Cardington coming to challenge as they take the third last. Also coming to challenge now. He's Ansel Lane. Tush up Tash around the outside. Also trying to run on a Gwen Tamir and Shanghai Lily. But races on in earnest now with just two to jump. And floats like a summer fly. He's in the lead still by a couple of lengths to Capable Carlington over the second last. Capable Carlington runs straight through it again. And floats like a summer fly pulls away. Floats like a summer fly by four or five now. Then Capable Carlington's trying to get back into it. Shanghai Lily on the outside. Ansel Lane looks one pace. Here comes Franklin Roosevelt with a run, but it's surely too late. They're inside the final two furlongs. They've only got one more fence to take, and now Capable Carlington starts to fly as well. He's jumping a bit better. He might have had a chance in this one, but it floats like a summer fly. From Capable Carlington and Ansel Lane, they race down towards the final fence then. And it still floats like a summer fly. Been in the lead all the way. All he's going to do is jump the last shoe, and he gets over it nicely. Capable Carlington, second mistake by Ansel Lane. It floats like a summer fly. Still two lengths clear. And at the line, floats like a summer fly. Takes it. Capable Carlington, second, then Ansel Lane. Shanghai Lily and Gwintamira, and then Franklin Roosevelt and Tushuk Tash and Falkland's Task Force. First 11 and finally Dark Shadow. And floats like a summer flight, led all the way. Would Capel Cardington have got closer if he hadn't run through two or three fences? I'll never know. 
and it floats like a summer flight. Looked pretty comfortable when it's a mate. And floats like a summer fly takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Capable Cardington was second for Martin Lee. Amanda Lane for Hims was third. Shanghai Lily for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Gwen Tamira for Hims was fifth.